Hi you guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm posting this video on Monday, hopefully. So happy Monday, today it's actually Sunday. Um, I got all dolled up and took some pictures with my sister. So I'm really loving like the look that I have going on right now. Um, I'm wearing this shirt that I got from, where did I get this from? TJ Maxx, yeah, I love it. It's so nice. It like covers your butt a little bit if you wanted to. These pants are from H&M that I purchased like five years ago, and then these shoes are Jessica Simpson, which I like, but I don't know. They were really pricey, so I'm still like contemplating on if I'm keeping them or not. But anyways, let's get started with my Shop My Stash series. I know you guys love watching these every Sunday or Monday, I guess, whenever I post it. I hope you guys had a wonderful week, and let's get started. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start with my foundations. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this CoverGirl one just in honor of them going cruelty free, which is so exciting. I love when brands make such a huge change like that, and I don't know, it's just inspiring me to use some of their products, which I do love a ton of their stuff, but I don't know, it's making me love their stuff even more, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm gonna use their CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I really do like this if you're looking for a great, pretty full coverage matte foundation that doesn't suck the daylight out of your lip, your, <laughs> your face, and then you'd really love this, and it also comes with a pump, plus there are 40 shades in the line so I'm gonna use this along with my Sonia Kashuk um, satin matte foundation and I didn't know that they I think they discontinued their makeup line I'm not 100% sure but they don't sell their makeup at Target anymore which is weird they just sell like their brushes and stuff like that there but I really do like this foundation the color is nice I took pictures um, outside with my sister yesterday and this is the foundation that I use so I love this I'll probably mix it with the covergirl one or use it on its own it also has a pump so I'm gonna use that um, for concealer I'm just gonna focus on my what are these these are the you know what no let's not do this because I always use these you know what I mean like let's do something else um <laughs> Let's see what I didn't use in ages. Um, you know, let's use this one because it's almost on its last leg. It's the Rimmel Match Perfection in 125 Fair. They actually don't make this anymore. So once this is done, it's done for good. Um, you guys can see I have very little left. So hopefully I'll be able to finish this before the end of the year. I like to finish up some products. You guys know I like making progress. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. This is a really good CoverGirl concealer. If you guys were curious, you could see I'm almost finished with that one. But I think that's pretty much it for this drawer. Next drawer is my primers. Again, I didn't clean this up. This should not be here. Sometimes I just feel like I need help organizing, you know what I mean? For this drawer, I know it's like overwhelming, I know, I know, I know. But I'm gonna use the Kevin Aquan The Neo Elixir Weightless Beauty Oil. If you guys are looking for an amazing beauty oil that hydrates the skin, that sinks into the skin beautifully, that does not make your face look oily even though it's an oil, this is amazing. Like seriously, it's an oil, but like it's not an oil at the same time. You guys can see it has like three different stages and you just shake it and put a little bit on your face. It's so stunning, even if you're gonna wear makeup, even if you're not gonna wear makeup actually. But with makeup, whoa. Um, anyways, you could see I finished up a nice amount. I just adore it. It's like seriously a game changer. Love. So I'm going to use that. Um, and then um, let's try to find something I didn't use in like 75 years. You know what? Let's use this. I really, really like this. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Pore Minimizing um, Primer. It's really nice on its own. It's also really nice with the Kevin Aquan oil. So... I'm gonna focus on that and I like it because it's more like a cream moisturizer consistency as opposed to like a silicone based one, you know, it's such it's just different, it's cool. So we're gonna use those. I need to do a declutter here. I already know that. Um and then moving on to my bronzer drawer. You guys know I've been focusing on this religiously and I, I'm obsessed. I also used the yesterday in my like photo shoot that I had with my sister. Super, super nice. Um, I kind of want to use that, but Pop Beauty recently sent this over, and I'm like, okay, let's try this. It's a little bit cheapy feeling, I'm not going to lie, but I want to see if it's good or not, like, even if it's, you know, cheapy feeling. So here's how it looks, and here's how these shades look. So we get one, like, highlighting shade, one, um, bronzing shade. Well, it says blush here, which isn't really a blush. I guess if you have a deeper skin tone, maybe. And then one sculpting shade, with you could, which you can contour with. So here's just a little diagram of how you can use it. So we'll use this, but I'm thinking I'm going to pull out something else as well in case I'm not feeling that. Um, I'm just going to take this because I want to, and it's really, really good. But also, I want to use this. I used a little bit of this yesterday as well, and I used to use this religiously a few months back. You guys will see, like right over here. It's a cream contour shade. It's super nice. 
Um, it looks nasty. But um, I really do like that just to add a little bit more of definition if I'm going for a super sculpted look. So that's really good. And then I have the powder form right here. These two I don't really use. And I don't really use the eyeshadows in here either. But maybe I should for this week. But I'm mainly going to focus on this guy. I love this. I love this. Just for that, it's so worth it. So that's pretty much it for this drawer. Moving down here. Um, what do I want to use? I don't even know. I don't know. You know what I want to use? This. Okay. I didn't use this in so long. And it's just the most prettiest, stunningest blush of life to exist. It's Milani in Luminoso. So pretty. I love it. So I'm going to use this guy. But I've also been into those like raspberry tone shades. You know, like I've been using like for the past, I don't know, month. Um... These guys won't really offer it to me. This I used a few times, so I'm not going to use that again. I actually used this MAC one last week and yesterday too. Love this. Amazing. It's in gentle. That's what the shade is called. If you're looking for a great winter blush, this is amazing. Um, you know, maybe I'll use this. This is the Pure Midnight Masquerade Palette. And here's how the palette looks. You guys can see there's a highlighting shade and then three blushes. This could be kind of a bronzing shade, but I think I'm going to focus on this blush. It's super, super deep here, but I'm sure if I share it out, it's going to be nice. Yo, this smells amazing. Yum. I got this in my BoxyCharm for October, I believe, and I still didn't really have a major chance to use it. So I'm excited to put it to the test for the week. And look at the packaging. It's so cute. Okay, so we're done with this drawer. Now moving on to this one. Single eyeshadows. Am I going to be using anything from here? Um, I don't know. I feel like with this drawer, I just never really know. And during the week, if I feel like I want to use something, I'll just pop in here and just choose something. But isn't this so nice? I don't know. Yeah, it is really nice. I'm going to use this. This is the NYX Glitter, and I think it's in the shade 03. It's so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Whatever. I'm going to need to use that. I need to. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it for this drawer. I might pop in back here. I might pack, phew, I might pop back in here to choose one of these Stila Glitter and Glows if I'm feeling like I want to do something extra. But for now, I think that's pretty much it. Um, okay, so for a highlighter, here's one of my drawers. You guys know. So I'm organize that. Um, I have this drawer as well. Octoly recently sent this over from Kevin Aquan, and this is the this is the Neo highlighter in Sahara, and it's a golden rose uh, type of shade. So let's see. It is actually really stunning. It has like that gradient effect. I'm pretty sure if I focus my brush on this side, it'll be really nice for my skin tone. I think this shade would be a little bit too dark, but let's see. Yeah, this feels so soft. Pretty, pretty nice. I feel like it has more of like a subtleness to it. But we'll see how it looks on the cheeks. It's nice though. Yeah. Okay, fine. So I'm going to use this. I'll keep you guys posted on the quality, of course. And let's see. Let me pull out one more. You guys know I'm addicted to this. This is like the epitome of perfect. I used this yesterday also in my like photo shoot. But oh, let me use one of these guys. These little baby Becca highlighters. Um, so cute. I showed this to you guys in my Sephora haul. And I think these were in my favorites video as well. We have this shade, which is um, pearl. No, not pearl. Opal. I'm not going to use that one because I don't want to. I just don't want to. Um, and then we have this one, which is pinky. And this is called Rose Quartz. We're going to use that. Um, this is Amethyst, Prismatic Amethyst. It's purpley, right? Yeah. And then this is actually one of my favorites. This is in the shade Vanilla Quartz. I don't own this in the full size. And... I love it. It's such a stunning goldish, whoa, goldish white color, but it's it gives such a punch to the look. Like I put it on my inner corners the other day and it looked out such handing. So really pretty. And I think that set is amazing. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it for this drawer. Swiffer, as if I was cleaning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, for lips. I already chose out a few lip products, so I'm going to put it here so you guys can see. Firstly, I'm going to use this. This is the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick in the shade Press Tour. You guys will see this in my um, TJ Maxx haul, hopefully this Saturday, but that's how it looks. This is the lipstick I was wearing yesterday in my pictures. A lot of you guys asked me like what I was wearing, so this was what it was. So pretty, so comfortable. It's a matte, but it feels delicious. Like, these are so underrated. Smashbox really knows their shit. I mean, I don't even speak about them either because I just don't know, but now I'm going to because, wow. So nice for a matte, literally beautiful. And then I'm going to go ahead and use this. This is a new brand to me. I think it's from 
Sulwasu. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. This is the Essential Lip Serum Stick. So it's technically kind of like a lip balm. Octoly recently sent this over as well so I can share with you guys my thoughts on it um, and review. But here's how the packaging looks. Pretty kind of cool. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Just pop that off. And then here's how the shade looks right over there. So they have this shade, which is pretty much clear. You guys know my addiction with lip balms. And then they have this in various different shades as well. So this is not your vibe, and you can totally choose something else. I want to put some on now. Yum. It smells amazing. It has a little bit of like a stiffer feel, but it seems super moisturizing. It kind of reminds me of like the fresh lip balms, you know? Wow, very excited, very excited. So that's what I'm going to use for like lip balm. Then, what else am I going to use in here? What didn't I use in ages? Um, I really like these NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cremes, but it's a, new, it's a neutral shade, and I want to just try to be a bit more adventurous. But, okay, let's use this. I don't know. I haven't used this in a long time. This is the Live Boldly Lipstick by Revlon. Look at this color. It's super bright. I mean, it's not, like, so for this time of the year, but, like, who really cares, you know? Um, and this is in the shade Boss Lady. Really cute. So I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to pull out one more. Um, I'm not sure. I don't like these kind of colors, really. So I'm not going to use that. Um, okay, yeah, let's do this one. This is really nice. I haven't used it too much. But this is the Fenty Lipstick in... Griselda. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I pur I used it a bunch when I purchased it a few months back, but then I kind of forgot about it. Look at this. It's like a vampy burgundy. It's so sexy on. Need to use this. Gonna use it. Yes, very excited. Okay, I think we're good in the lips department. This is a secretive drawer. Can't show you guys yet, but you'll see it one day. Moving on to this section. You guys know palettes. Palettes. But the palette that I think I'm going to focus on is up here. And guess what it is? Guess what it is? It's this. I use this so much in the summertime when it came out. And then the holiday season arrived um, with makeup and stuff. So I used a bunch of other things. But I used this yesterday in the pictures that I took with my sister. And I mean, I used it also the last week, I think. I love it. I don't know what it is about this palette, but it's amazing. The packaging is bomb and then the shades in here are stunning like you have everything you want you have warm tone shades purpley tones cooler tone shades peachy colors great shades to put in the crease great shades to put in the lid on the lids and just it works so well like it's just such a simple palette to use this shade punk is super stunning on the lower lash line hell ride is beautiful baja and still shot are probably my favorite shades yo this is so like it's so pretty, like it looks basic there, but it's so nice on the eyes. Anyways, I just love this. I think it's worth every single penny and obsessed. So this is going to probably be the only palette I'm going to use, I think. Unless I get anything new, like my Sephora order should be coming in. I might use stuff from there. But otherwise, I'm probably going to use just that. So I'm not going to pick at anything else from here. Um, here's where I have my lashes, and I'm going to be using these lashes, which is also what I used yesterday. This is the Lily Lashes for Sephora Collection. Um, if you guys watch my TJ Maxx videos, there's this lady there that I see constantly. Her name is Emma, and she said she purchased a bunch of these a few months ago, and she just doesn't find herself using them, so she gifted it to me, which I thought was so cool, because I've never tried Lily Lashes, because they're, like, so expensive, you know? And so, yeah, she gave it to me, and I was like, thank you so much. Look at them. They're so stunning really fluffy like probably one of the most dramatic lashes i've ever tried and used in my life but it looks stunning on okay this drawer oh powders okay fine whoa um well firstly one second where is that where is it oh here i'm gonna use this this is the kevin aquan lash curler i love using this when i'm not wearing lashes it's one of the best lash curlers ever even though it looks basic and plain and like what's so special it's so good. I like it much better than the Tarte one, even though the Tarte one is like all cutesy. I obviously prefer the packaging of this, but I like that this one curls better, you know, if that makes sense. Okay, for powders, so I've been pretty much focusing on the CoverGirl one, um, but I'm going to use this one. This is by Guerlain, and this is one that Octavia recently sent over as well. Sorry for mentioning a few things that they sent. I don't know if people get annoyed with that or what, but... I love testing out new makeup products, so, you know, I can give you guys my thoughts on it. But anyways, this is the powder that they sent over. It's in the shade um, 02 Clear Light. 
I swatched it. It seems super, super thin in consistency. That's how the packaging looks. The embossment is super nice as well. And I love powders. Like, I love setting my face with them. So hopefully this is going to be nice. It is super pricey. So I'll keep you guys posted and let you know if it's even a worth it product to pick up. But I want to see if it's as good or as comparable to my CoverGirl one. Or if this one is just better. Because this is like 10 bucks And it's really, really good. I hit pan. You guys can see. So I'm going to use this one for the week. Test it out. As well as with my... Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder or actually where is my Hourglass one? Oh, it's right here. One second. Um, here, I'm going to use my Hourglass one for the week. I've actually been really loving this. This is so thin. Compared to this, this has a thin consistency but not as thin as this. They're both really good but I think I'm going to use this for the week, the Hourglass. Yes. Okay, and then for this drawer, I'm going to be adventurous this week because I always use the same brow products and I'm always using the same mascaras and I'm like, you gotta switch it up, okay? Like, I have so many in here and there's no reason why I'm not using it. So, okay, for mascaras, we're gonna use this CoverGirl one. Again, just in honor of them going cruelty-free. It's just such an amazing thing. So I'm gonna use that along with, um, let's use this. I haven't used this in ages. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara Carbon Black one. I love that. So I think those two are enough. What is this? Um, <laughs> okay, for brows, I'm going to use this. Even though I don't generally love brow powders, I typically don't use brow powders. I haven't used this in ages, and I don't even know if it's my shades, to be honest. So I think for this week, I'll use it and see if it works out. If it does, I'll keep it. it. If not, then I'm just going to give it away because it was just sitting here for a while, and I don't recall using it in probably a year. So that we're going to use, as well as... Um, you see, I have brow products here, but most of them are not my shades because I got them in kits and stuff. So I just really need to do a declutter. I haven't done it. Um, here, let's use this, actually. I really like this. This is the Precisely My Brow by Benefit in the shade 03. I'm usually shade 04, but this one should work well. But in case it's still a little bit too light, I'm going to pull out the... Yeah, this... Um, this this is the essence make me brow um brow mascara i like this but i feel like it kind of makes my brow hairs fall out so that's what happened last time and that's why i kind of left it in here for a while i think i'm gonna use it again for this week and see if it happens again if it does i'll just declutter it if not then it'll be one that i'll consistently use because it is affordable so okay so i'm in my bathroom right now i don't know if it's echoey but this is the simple cleansing wipes it has my cellar water and this is basically amazing. I purchased it from TJ Maxx. I've been using this the past two, three days, and I love it so far. So if I see more of these, I'm probably going to pick up a few more. It was $2.99. So affordable for how amazing it is. Okay, so here are some of the products I'm going to use. I have to organize here and clean up. I just feel like I just haven't had time for myself to really breathe. And then we have some of the other products here. But that's pretty much it. That's all I'm going to use for the week. So thrilled for this. This is like the best thing in, in this whole thing that I picked out. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed watching everything that I picked out for the week. I'm really excited. I am determined to do a makeup look for this week. Like I'm always saying I'll do it. And then apparently I'm talking out of my ass. So let's hope that I'll have the time. Um, I'm also going to do a video, an update video about like my job, like what I do, hours, all of that. Because a bunch of you guys were interested and I feel like I'm getting a ton of questions. So I'm just gonna address everything in the video you know what i'm saying okay anyways i hope you guys enjoyed i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one